Welcome to Fit for Feast. My name is Katrina. And my name is Sam. And today in our Fit for Feast, we are doing a craft called Decoupage. Coupé is a French word for to cut. We got some wooden boxes and a frame from the dollar store. You can go out and buy new ones or you can reuse your old ones as part of our green craft series. You're going to need different colored papers. We're using tissue paper, but you can also use wrapping paper. I'm going to use this pink tissue paper and this flowered pattern. I'm going to use this jean print and this picture pattern. You could use scissors, but we prefer to rip the pieces because we like the look. Rip your pieces into different sizes and shapes. So for the, for the jean print, I'm going to be ripping. But for the, for the picture pattern, I'm going to be cutting so I can keep the pictures. For the frame, we're going to do a zebra pattern and a white. We're only using two types of paper, but you can use more if you want to. So once you're done ripping the paper and organizing them into two groups, then you can use either a sponge brush or any brush to use um, to wipe the glue on your box. We're using Mod Podge. So I'm going to open it and do the two pieces separately. Put a little bit of glue on the box and then press on a piece of paper. You're putting glue on about the size of the paper that you're pressing on. If you have a lid like mine, make sure it's open so it doesn't seal the box. So put a bit of glue over that paper since it's a sealer and makes it shine. Once you have finished that one paper, put glue for the next paper. I'm going to alternate colors. So now I'm putting the flower pattern. I'm applying mine like Katrina's, but I'm going to put, I'm going to apply it to the top box and the bottom box. I'm not alternating. I'm going to put everything as a blue jean now. I will put my cutout picture pattern on last. I put the flower piece on a different angle. And now I'm pushing down with the brush. Every piece that you put on, try to make it a different direction. You want to overlap them somewhat, but you want to keep changing directions. Make sure you cover all of the wood, especially the corners. You could tuck it up and underneath the box. If you need to, you can press down with the br brush so you don't have any bubbles or bumps. So now I'm going to use the picture pattern and I have I figured out where I want them to go so I'm going to glue them on. And I have this flower cut out so I'm going to put it on my lid. Before you do this, make sure where you're putting it on is dry or else it won't stick if it's a sticker. We used white paper and a zebra cat pattern for the frame. And we also painted this cutout shape of the cat. So now we're going to use the same glue to put, on, um, put the cat on the frame. Use more glue than you've been using for the paper because this is heavier and thicker. Now we'll let everything dry. When it dries, it will be shiny because of the sealer glue. I cut out these picture patterns. But you could cut out any pictures of like maybe celebrities, like Tilda Lautner, the Jonas Brothers, other stuff like that too. And you can glue them on top of your keepsake box. Have fun making these. So we'll see you later on Fit for a Feast. Bye. Bye.